Is that 572-065? Correct, yes. Okay. And um, you did a $25,000 earnest deposit? Correct. Yes, I did. Okay. And the property is a townhouse, right? Correct, yes. What is the monthly HOA fees? I believe it's going to be $200. Okay, $200 and a month. Okay. And when is the property expected to be completed? July or August. July or August, okay. Um, you may want to look at doing some sort of extended rate lock because the rates have been, um, you know, kind of flying out of control, okay? You know, it's not every day, it's every other day that the rates are increasing, and so I would hate for you to be subjected to a significantly higher rate, you know, when it comes time to lock. Um, because we can do a free lock for 60 days, but that based on that closing date that you just gave me, it's going to expire before you close. So that defeats the purpose. We don't want to be exercising, you know, the 60 day lock, you know, up front. We want to wait until the end. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to have another conversation with you about that, um, just to see if anything does work for you. I mean, there is going to be a fee for that. I just don't have that information for you right now. I'm just trying to plant that seed. Right. Okay, we might need to look at doing some sort of extended rate lock. We would need to look at doing like a 120 day rate lock to guarantee you for four months. Okay. So we might even have to look at doing a little bit longer rate lock um, because if it's not expected to be completed until July or August, then if we did a 120 day rate lock, your rate lock would be expiring on August 5th because that would be four months from now. So um, just kind of need to have a better idea as to what the builder thinks is going to be the estimated completion date especially if we're looking at um you know doing some sort of extended rate lock the good thing with the va is that the va does not allow you to pay for the extended rate lock option up front so you're not coming out of pocket at the time of the extended rate lock mm -hmm. it'll just be due at closing good morning y'all today is tuesday i am currently at work i have a lot to get to today i haven't done any skincare i haven't even brushed my teeth <laughs> um and i already had a phone call from one of the lenders that i'm working with so um what's this um so um so yeah so um she called me i need a loan cost estimate which shows um basically what my rate the interest rate for my home would be um from this specific lender um navy federal that i'm working with and um you know like the fees and all of that so she's working on that and she's supposed to get back to get it get it back to me in two days so that i can send it to the other lender and see you know if they can compete back and forth and give me the best possible value for my money i'm just not gonna pick one and jump right off don't get it twisted i'm not just going with you guys i will pick what's best for me and that's just on period poop so i know i look crazy right now um just because your girl hasn't you know i just haven't taken time to like do some self-care this morning but that's because work's calling and as soon as i wake up work be calling like i did sleep in today so that's why work is calling right away um usually when i wake up earlier i have a little bit of time to myself but that's not the case today i do have an excessive to-do list to do um to do i have an excessive to-do list um not only does it include my work stuff it also includes my house stuff i do way too many things to remember exactly what i have to do so let me go to my planner real quick uh doo -doo 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 -doo. we're in april um I want to review the document the disclosures that Pulte sent me so I'm gonna do that um, right well yeah I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna review that 
I was looking at two home insurances, Pulte, which is my builder's home insurance, and then Geico. And Geico gave me a good quote, but I also want to look at Liberty, so I'm going to add Liberty to the list because my friend told me about Liberty. So I'm going to see if I can get a quote from Liberty and see what they're saying when it comes to um, when it comes to their um, home insurance and see what quote they give me. So that's something else I'm going to do. And then, um, and then work stuff. I got a lot of work stuff to do. I have been assigned a new role at work. So I kind of need to go over that. I'm going to be doing all of that today. So I'm going to be on this desk all day. I need to grab water. That's why I need to grab so that I don't have to get up here for about the next four hours. So I need to do those things and then review my new role at work and then do some work. I go to the gym at some point, gotta eat at some point and yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna get started because I think my next meeting Yep, my next meeting is in about an hour and 45 minutes So if I can get a lot done between now and then I can move on And yeah, so let's do that different lenders different insurance people um, how do I even give y'all an update so I am waiting what, what was the last thing I said cuz I don't even remember but what I know is I am waiting for a loan cost estimate from one lender to send to the under so in total I'm dealing with three lenders that I um, that I'm going to put in competition with each other to see who's going to give me the best interest rate and the best um, money. Because some, some lenders will give you some extra money for closing costs and stuff. So I'm trying to see what they um, are going to offer me. Um, so with that said, um, I'm waiting for one more lender, which is my top lender who's on my list right now because they're giving me the best interest rate i'm waiting for them to send me the sheet that shows you know their loan cost the loan cost estimate with all the fees everything so i can send it to the other two lenders and be like listen this is what these people are giving me what can you do like what can you do to make it better and that's just on period so that's what i'm waiting for and then the home insurance people i know i've i did a new quote with liberty and i'm waiting for their quote i have sent the quote to the other two home insurance um people that i'm using which is geico and geico and what's the pulte which is my builder and um i'm waiting for them to be like hey like to basically like you know how would I say it? I wait for them to basically like, um, you know, see what Geico has to offer me and hopefully give, you know, match them or give me a better rate. So it's just a lot of 
going back and forth and trying to see who would give me a better rate and all that stuff but right now i went i'm about to clear this up i went to um i went to wegmans and got myself some white roses because i deserve roses yes i bought them myself ain't nothing wrong with buying yourself some roses so i bought myself some roses not only because do i deserve roses but more importantly my vase deserves a new rose don't y'all think this is pretty i think this brown color is pretty there's something about brown roses like it's like a dirty brown color i just think it's gorgeous and it smells like it has more of a thick smell than the fresh roses but um anyways i've had this for a while um maybe close to three weeks this lasted a pretty long time um but they gotta go i need to get rid of them and i need to give myself some fresh new flowers so with that said i um before i do that i do need to wash the dishes and take out the trash and I still gotta go to the gym. And then it's 8.51. Hopefully I can go to bed by 12. But I still gotta do all of that. And then um, I would like to review some more housing stuff. Um, and go over some work stuff. There's some work stuff I need to go over. Oh, and I still got to plan my birthday. Y'all, when I tell you my, I put my birthday on the back burner of everything that I have going on right now. Because, like, buying a house is, like, more important at this point. And making sure I get a good, like, rate. It's, like, seriously more important. But I, I'm still trying to plan it. I need to pick a restaurant today. I gave myself the deadline to pick a restaurant today. I still have it. Invitations still haven't been sent out. And it's in two weeks. So I shouldn't expect that people can't show up because they were notified late. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to try my best to make it work and just, you know, keep it pushing from there. So, yeah. position so my meetings are gonna be a lot more from now on but I am grateful for the position like it's it's been a long time coming but we're making it slowly we are but um yeah anyways I gotta go um the meeting's gonna start soon I have a lot to do today as always, I need to go through, actually I need to write my to-do list so I can remember what I'm gonna do today. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I 
am currently at the design showroom center by the way I finished work um today was long at work like also I got my um one of the interest rate backs from one of my lender and this interest rate is high like the feds are raising up the interest rates like what the hell what the hell and I'm over it like I'm just I'm really down today it's not something that I can do it's out of my control the rates are gonna be what the rates are gonna be and that's just on that and anyways I'm at the showroom design center and um I'm gonna pick out my fixtures like the little tiny things for my home the color the cabinets the color of like the faucets the sink um all the all those things so I'm doing all of that today um so I'm super excited I am anxious and nervous because I tried going um I tried looking through this these things before I came here just kind of to have a color scheme an idea of what I want but I don't know like it's really hard to kind of pick out colors and schemes without really seeing it in person or knowing what they look like in person and I'm just checking to see if I like I should have brought a notepad and pen just to jot things down to know exactly what I'm doing but I didn't I really didn't because I ran out the house it's currently 2 43 my appointment is at 3 I do want to go in there like 15 minutes early to give myself more time what's this i do want to stick with black accent pieces or like black accent features i really want a modern home so those are things i know for sure and i know that i do want uh i do want white cabinets like white a white kitchen is just it for me like that's i don't know it just looks good Good morning y'all. Today is Friday and I'm super excited because today's the last day of work. It's the last day of the week. I'm pressed. <sighs> I can't wait to actually sleep in this weekend because this week's been rough y'all. This week's been rough. But yeah, so um, Monday through Wednesdays are like super busy for me now because your girl got a promotion yeah i am so excited today's friday because monday through wednesday are hectic for me like just hectic like it's like after wednesday like maybe like that afternoon on wednesday that's when everything calms down finally but still my week monday my weekdays monday through wednesdays are something else so I can even barely vlog during the week for you guys anymore. It's like, I can only really vlog on the weekend. And the other reason why it's been super hectic is because I have been trying to figure out the selections for my home. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I am actually going to sign the document today with y'all. So we're going to go through all my little selections that I have picked out and all of that. And, um... You know, unfortunately, by the time you guys see this video and comment and be like, girl, don't get that, I would have already signed the paperwork. But <laughs> um, 
I feel like you guys would be happy with my selection. I've been so busy, I didn't even get the time to update y'all about my birthday pass. Like, maybe about a week ago or two weeks ago. And um, I didn't even get to update you guys. But I'm gonna, I did not vlog that weekend. That was a very stressful weekend for me. I did not think my birthday was gonna be good because I wasn't going out of the country. So, um, because I'm building a house and a house is expensive. It did not make financially, it wasn't a financially sound, no, that's not the word. It just didn't make sense financially to travel outside of the country because when I travel for my birthday, I like to really go all out. But, and if I'm not going all out, I'd rather not do it. So, because most of my coins are going to my house because I actually want my house to be something I love and I like and I'm really happy with. Um, so most of my coins is going there. <laughs> um, it just didn't make any financial sense for me to spend money on a trip that could be going into, for example, I know I have to buy a washer and dryer for the home because I don't want the washer and dryer they're offering me and another thing is i know like i think i'm gonna show y'all the fridge i think i am taking the fridge they're offering me but at some point in the future i do want to upgrade the fridge but it depends it depends on a lot of stuff um that i'm upgrading and what my bank account is looking like but either way with all of that said it just didn't make sense for me to travel so i couldn't travel but i'm gonna insert all the clips here so you guys can see how my birthday went I love my friends. They made my birthday like my friends and my family made my birthday the best thing ever like they literally made it what i thought it wouldn't be all the surprises all the gifts just them being present there loving just being there for me made me just feel loved and welcomed and just i don't know like i was so grateful um because i really thought my birthday was gonna be trash i sent them the invite literally the day before can you imagine i sent them my birthday dinner invite the day before and they still showed up so my friends my village right now we're about to pick um like the options that i have for my home so before i get into that i kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more first things first i'm buying a new construction home um, I am buying it in the state of Virginia. The reason why I chose new construction home is because not only will it let me pick out the things I want, which I'm about to do right now, but it also um, lets me not just buy a house. Cause right now the market, y'all know the house market. Blah. Cause right now the housing market is crazy and people are just being like, are literally being crazy i wouldn't say crazy but they're just overcharging for houses and one thing you're not gonna overcharge me for is for a house that i don't really want or a house that does not fit my taste that is the number one reason why i chose new construction is because i can get a house that fits fits my taste obviously it's not going to be like my dream home because i can't afford my dream home right now but it is gonna still be like very close to what i want or I chose this property because of investment purposes that's number one so i was trying to find a good median between a house that i like and a house that i know i will get my money back like if I'm spending money I want to make sure I'm getting my money back and more 
plus on top of it it's a house that i would like and for me to find that in this market it had just had to do, be a new construction home i actually thought about getting a builder like finding a builder example of builders that i found a really good one around this area is called caruso homes um and then you know buying my plot of land and then building on that plot of land but it would just have cost more time and more money than what i chose so i actually called i asked how much it would cost for square footage all those things and it just made better sense for me to already um it just made it was just better for me to already buy a home that is going to that's in construction so i don't really have to go through that um it was go it was gonna cost about the same maybe just a little bit more using caruso homes but i would not get the location i wanted i really wanted to stay in virginia y'all like when i tell you virginia was where i wanted to be i had looked at maryland um i looked at quite a few houses in maryland at first i started in virginia and i was staying closer to like northern virginia area and the prices were just ridiculous for this small of a house and i was like no we're not doing that like no i'm not doing that so then i started looking in maryland and then in maryland i found a builder mid-atlantic builders they're really good with custom building because they do they're they do allow you to have different several options and kind of make the home your home and it was a bigger home and everything like literally everything i wanted plus more um was it going to be expensive yes it was more on the expense expensive range but it would have probably cost me about what i'm um it would no it would have cost me just a bit more than what i'm spending now by the time i add all the options in and all of that i would say maybe it would be 30 40 grand more however the reason why i did not go with them is because of location when i chose virginia and the area i bought my house i chose it because again it was something i wanted and you know the house is something i liked um i could build the house to something i liked. but the number one thing that really drove me is investment so obviously right now with the with the housing market you know it's like going up 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 eventually one day it's going to crash and one thing i know that will hold my equity up no matter if you know the house market market crashes you i wanted to make sure that if the house market does crash the location of where my home is and the things around where my home is still holds the value up the first thing that sold me on my home is the vre the railway that would take um take people that lived in my area all the way to dc virginia you know northern virginia um and even all the way to um amtrak stops that will take you to new york and atlanta the second thing were the schools um there were schools there were elementary middle school and high school in the community of where my home is the amenities that they have the golf courts the sporting parks um the rating of their schools the rating of what the schools are or is it a good county is it a good area um also the um i realized that the equity in virginia is higher than the equity in maryland i don't know why that is but that is just something i learned through my research just you know being by the water having um that area offering um you know you can do join a boating club if you wanted because it's on the potomac river looking at how fast the homes sell around there is another thing i was looking at um and just all of that like that is actually how i came to the decision that that is the home i'm going to buy now number two 
moving into payments and all of that the past three weeks have been stressful um i the interest rates right now are is crazy absolutely skyrocketing i was able to lock in an interest rate um the reason why i locked in an interest rate is because i don't know how it's gonna go if it's gonna keep shooting up because that's what it's been happening is that it's been climbing and i decided to lock in the interest rate because i just can't i can't keep i want my interest rate as low as possible it's not as low as i would like it to be um and the reason why I'm really not happy with that is because in February when I first um, you know ran my credit score and all of that to see what the interest the interest rate would be it was like a whole percentage lower and now it's like one more percent added on top of it and it's just because the feds keep raising the interest rates so I um, what I decided to do was basically put um, when you're buying a home that home builder tends to have their own preferred lender and with their preferred lender they would give you a certain amount in closing costs so like let's say like for example my builder was given ten thousand dollars in closing costs now that was all they were giving um their interest rate was about the same but for you to lock in a rate with my um with the my builder's lender they would charge they were charging like six thousand dollars which is something i wasn't going to do so i reached out to other banks i um because i know i have a i have a good credit score that i know about myself um so i reached out to other banks and other lenders and you know i sent my application in and i was like hey you know i'm doing the va loan this is what i'm pre-approved for already I do my application with them and um okay back to what I was saying anyways work stuff I need to pull up the design center appointment so actually on April 6th um I've I don't think I vlogged this because it was like a, a literal appointment and i was talking to the lady um and i had to like pick like the things i wanted and stuff like that um and now is the time for me to basically go through and sign off on what i picked so the first thing we are going to review is the kitchen cabinet so the kitchen cabinets that um, I got, there were different levels. Um, there's level two, level three, level fours, fives, six, and seven. It was a lot of levels, but um, if you guys can see, I wanted a white cabinet. And the reason why I wanted a white cabinet is from across from me, I have white cabinets and I'm just used to white cabinets. And I just feel like, a white cabinet in the kitchen just makes the kitchen look bright and clean and i do like my space clean um i can be a little bit ocd about that but i wanted a really modern kitchen i wanted my entire house to be really modern so i chose white cabinets um the cabinets i chose is the winstead painted maple cabinet which is a level six the reason why i chose it is because well it's white number one number two it comes with um pull out trays for the top shelves of my um of like the base cabinets in my kitchens plus it comes with soft closure doors so the main thing for me is the fact that the closure doors like you know the cap the um the drawers when you close them they just kind of like they like pull in by themselves they're not like slamming like even if you slammed it it would like slow it down and close it so i really wanted that the next thing i picked in terms of my kitchen and actually all throughout my home is the countertop i wanted quartz countertops um i picked the calacata vicentia quartz so it is a white countertop 
again with the white i picked the white countertop with subtle like specks of wispy like browns or blacks actually i would say black so wispy blacks throughout i would put a picture up here so you guys can have an idea of what i'm talking about i didn't want the veiny look i don't know i just don't like veiny counters i just feel like they're very distracting i wanted something very subtle and clean um and that's why i chose that and i actually have that going on out throughout the house um i just think it's just a it's just a nice finish and the reason why i chose that is because the next thing which is my hardware and fixtures which i went back and forth about it because y'all this price was a lot um i picked black hardware fixtures so my faucet the handles for my doors um even like the shower like fixtures and stuff like that like all of it is black um, I just think it would go really well a good contrast with the white that I have going on um, I picked a very modern style um, The style that I picked is the hardware level 3 Contemporary pool 128 mm's or I don't know what that means millimeters or something like that but um, I've got that in black and um, I got that in black because when we go a little bit down um all my hardwares in the house is gonna be black too and that one i picked the glide sleek matte package so it's a black matte package beautiful um i just thought that again would go with the entire theme of my home which is a modern really neat clean look moving on to the pendant light they were offering me some pendant light and i was like is a no go I'm going to buy my own pendant light. Um, I did pick my sink. I wanted a double sink. Um, by now, y'all should know I'm African. So I want two sinks where one, I can thaw my meat. Um, and cooking African food, you need two sinks. Like, trust me. You need two sinks. <laughs> Especially cook, like you cooking African food, you're always cooking from scratch. And you need to be able to be washing as you are cooking because it's just going to be piled up, baby. Um, I did get the hand sprayer in the bathroom. I got a black hand sprayer to go with the black fixtures I have everywhere. I'm really mad because that hand sprayer was $990. And I checked on Home Depot and that's not the price. But I don't know if they're charging for installation or what it is, but we all know these builders get discounted prices for all these things because they're ordering in bulk okay so i am back um i think i'm so sorry y'all we were going over my choices for the home but i ran out of time actually that's not what happened hold up let me put this down here so um hopefully you guys can see me over here so my camera my camera actually died and because my camera died i started charging it by the time i charged my camera it was it was getting late and um i had to go meet one of my mentors today who is supposed to you know advise me um i usually like to have mentors in um um just in my career and in life that can give me advice about things i should do versus things i should not do back to um the options and choices that i was talking about when it came to oh shit i thought my laptop died but um back to the choices i was talking about when it came when it comes to my home the backsplash options these people were offering was not it for me like i really wasn't feeling it so i did not take any of their black i did not take any of their backsplash options just because it wasn't it's not what i wanted and i said give me just a regular wall and i will keep it pushing and i can just 
add the backsplash I want once I get into the home. Moving into hardwood floor, I did not get any hardwood floor by the builder because they were charging extremely way too much. Like absolutely way too much for what I could get from a contractor or someone else to do my home. So what I did was... Um, actually let's go into the wood that i want so i went to the design center i saw the wood that i wanted the wood that i wanted was i wanted dark wood i don't want gray i've already had gray in this apartment and gray really limits it doesn't limit but i just don't want gray i want like a darker wood i was um stuck between charcoal and weathered i'm gonna put a picture of charcoal and weathered up here so you guys can see the difference and i'm going with weathered um with the contractor i want real wood and i want it all over the home i literally want real wood all over the home and i want it to be five inches so like a wider plank not those three inches planks which are like skinnier now going into the bathroom tiles the secondary bathrooms i kept the white the regular wall towel bathroom nothing special however for my master suite bathroom i went with the carrera carrera and it's gonna be horizontal place tiles it kind of gives this marble look um again it is white to go with the black fixtures because you know i have black fixtures throughout the home my hand sprayer and my um in my shower is gonna be black i do not care for a tub so i'm not doing a tub i prefer a shower a shower just is more modern to me um if i was gonna do a tub that would be in like my dream home when i can do a stand alone tub but obviously this home is more of an investment home my home would have come with um three bedrooms instead but i upgraded it to four bedrooms what's that noise it's the train but anyways i upgraded it to four bedrooms because um it's just better when it comes it's just better to have more bedrooms when it comes to um either resale or let's say i want to rent it out i'm super excited i can't wait to see it i literally signed my documents today before i went for my um mentor um my mentor meetup i am I don't know how I feel about it like I'm, I mean honestly I'm excited I'm a bit nervous but I think everything will be good like I I'm pretty happy with my choices the only thing I need to work on now is basically figuring and focusing on um, getting a contractor who's gonna work on my um, hardwood floors throughout the home and on the backsplash so those are the two major things I have to do for the home